Hi people, in this video I'm going to show you how to change an impeller of the 5 horsepower Yamaha 2 stroke from year 2000. It's more than 20 years old. After 20 years we can check the impeller. Make sure to pull this off. Remove this cap. For the exchange we just need some marine grease, some soap and of course the impeller. By the way, this is the part number, the original Yamaha part number of the impeller. So the next step is to remove this cap. There's a screw, you can't reach it now, because you have to put the gear in reverse. And now we can lose this. Now I'm going to lose these two bolts. And after losing these bolts, you have to lose this one to get the shift shaft out of the midsection to remove the lower unit during the reinstall just give it a little bit of uh, marine grease to remove it just a little more go ahead now this is the uh, one where the water comes up into the engine. This is a drive shaft and after we install the drive shaft just give it a little bit of marine grease and I will clean this with soap. The next step is just to remove these four bolts 10 millimeter. Here's a top plate. There are two of them, one for each side. Pull up the impeller housing. There's some dirt in it. Maybe it's sawed, but dirty. I clean this up. Here is the impeller housing. It looks pretty clean, so you can use it again. There is a small pin to attach the impeller, to make the impeller turn. I have to pull out the pin to remove the bottom of the impeller case. I'm a little surprised. The impeller looks pretty good for its age. And there are no scratches. Now I pull the small pin out of the shaft. Keep an eye on it. It's important. Without this part the impeller is not able to turn. Remove the, the bottom case, the gasket. And wow, I'm pretty surprised. There's almost no dirt or salt in it. Pretty clean. Usually you have a lot of wear in this here, but there's almost nothing. You can't even feel it. You can see the scratches, but um, there aren't scratches. It's pretty good. I can use it again. I really can reinstall the old impeller, but um, I will reinstall the new impeller. I use soap on this shaft to a better slide. shaft putting the pin inside but I will use some marine grease this is the bottom side this is the top side you can see it here's the the space for the pin and you have to put it on this way then attach it to the pin ah now it's inside And to, to fit this inside without damaging the impeller, I recommend to turn the prop. This has to be in this direction, like this, because the water 
is going up inside here. The impeller pumps it up here through this. Okay, this has to be in this, in right to the propeller. That is putting the water here inside, goes here, impelling, water goes up here and through this pipe. So now it should fit. Click. Don't get them too tight. section here is a pipe where the water flows up to the head. This one has to fit in the rubber pipe of the lower unit. Grease the screws or bolts. I also applied some grease. Again, was pretty tricky. I will tighten it a little bit more. Now it's pretty clean. Goes back in neutral, reverse, and forward. Finally, don't forget to attach the cover back into the midsection. 